If you want to level up your aim, you've come to the right place. This video will get your aim up and help you tame the beast that is aim in Overwatch. My name is Nate, and welcome to Blizzard Guides. Wait, no, he's actually just clean. Wow. So first off, let's talk about how you aim. Movement. Movement is a core component of aiming in Overwatch. Aiming in CSGO or aiming in Valorant is different to aiming in Apex Legends and is different to Overwatch. The reason being is movement. Your movement influences how you aim. Spamming strafes and crouching will mess up your aim if you aren't consciously and intentionally moving. Expanding on that further, movement is actually a part of your aim. This is the key on how to aim in Overwatch. Your aim is a combination of how you move and how you look around, not just how you look around. That's why aim draining trills can only get you so far and why good aimers aren't necessarily good at Overwatch. So what is the key to good movement? First off, know when and how you're going for a shot. On heroes like Cassidy, Widowmaker, Ash, Sojourn, or any other high damage single shot weapons, it's a good strategy to stop moving when you take the shot and then keep moving when you're done taking the shot. And then on heroes like Soldier, Orisa, Sombra, May, Symmetra, or any other semi-automatic or tracking weapons, you want more continuous movement so that you can track and move simultaneously. On heroes like Tracer or Genji that move around a lot, it's very useful and almost critical that you pre-aim your quick movements, rather than blinking and then 180ing, try combining the two. Basically, all of this just boils down to, if you're going to move, make sure your aim is aware of it. You'd be surprised at the amount of players that have their own movement mess up their own aim. Just be aware of how you're moving so that you can compensate your aim in regards to how you move. Sure4 has a great detailed video about this specific topic, so check that out if you want to learn more. And secondly, and we'll talk more about this in the what you're aiming at section, the duel that you're taking actually influences the type of movement that you should go for. So this isn't a one size fits all for the hero you're playing. So what I said before doesn't apply all the time. Your matchup actually influences this even more. But okay, this is an aim guide. You want aiming tips. So first off, for any hero, any time, any place, remember that adrenaline and stress and trying to land all the shots is keeping you from being focused. Be calm, be collected, and be comfortable when you aim. Land the shots that you know you can take, rather than dumping shots out of fear. The more that you practice landing the shots instead of dumping, the better that your muscle memory actually develops. Just take the shots that you know you can take. Don't try and be flashy, don't try and land the shots that are just a toss up. Now, being more specific on hitscan or tracking heroes, this just comes down to your comfort with your sensitivity and your aim. You, you just gotta be comfortable with your aim. And aim training or free for all games modes help a lot with this, uh, but with that said, muscle memory, matchups, and movement are more important to focus on. I find that most players have better aim than you'd actually think, but suffer because Overwatch involves a lot more than just your raw aiming talent. For projectile heroes, flicking helps a lot. So that's just moving your mouse or your thumbstick very quickly. One thing that generally improved my aim a lot is to just be very careful and think about how an enemy might move. So let's say that our enemy is here right now. In half a second, they'll be about here. So your goal is to flick from here to there before that half a second is up. If your projectile moves fast enough, this is your window of opportunity. And the more consciously that you think about and practice this, the more often you'll land in this window of opportunity and the more quickly this will develop as muscle memory. This is my personal favorite workshop code for warming this up and getting the feel of a projectile speed down. Uh, just do it for like 20 minutes before your games and you'll find that your projectiles land a lot more easily. And uh, finally, uh, wrapping up the aim tips, uh, just a quick note about sensitivity. It, it doesn't matter. I, I used to be really big on, oh, you gotta find the sense that's right for you. But the only thing that a good sensitivity does is help you get warmed up with your aim faster. In reality, a good player can pretty much use any sensitivity with some reasonable range. Just pick something that feels comfortable and gives you enough room to do the movements that you try and do regularly and then just stick with that sensitivity. Then after some time go watch a replay of your gameplay and note how often you over or undershoot shots and if you're like overshooting a lot lower your sense. If you're undershooting shots then increase it a bit uh, but don't mess with your sensitivity and don't act like it's the silver bullet that's going to make you aim better. Ultimately it doesn't really matter. 
So for the next section of this video, we're going to talk about what you're aiming at. This is actually what trips up most good aimers when they switch to Overwatch. Overwatch has a ton of characters, each with their own different animations and their own movement styles and their own aim styles and abilities that also have their own animations and aim styles and it, it, it just gets overwhelming. There are two things that I want to talk about. So first off, what I was just saying, enemy movement and animations. Now, most characters actually have what's called a locked animations. These are animations that they cannot stop. Things like Farah's boost, or Winston's leap, or Genji's dash, or Widow's hook, and even things as simple as any character just jumping. These animations are just as good as if they were walking in a straight line or standing still. Once you're a decent aimer, there's no reason you shouldn't be capitalizing on these every chance that you get. Practice it all of the time, and it will make your muscle memory develop way faster than you'd expect. Expect, but that's only if you're actually trying your best to recognize and capitalize on those opportunities. One difficult to hit animation is strafing, and the key to shooting strafing targets is recognizing that most people spam strafes in predictable manners. I often end up just getting used to the movement style of the specific player on the enemy team, so if I know their tracer likes to spam a sideways blink into a strafe, I'll be able to catch her every single time. But in general, when a target is spamming strafe, rather than trying to track the strafe, you're better off just trying to hit the movements in between the two edges of a strafe or when they're changing direction in the strafe. Focus on the shots you can land, not all of the shots that you want to hit. And finally, for movements and animations, you can always try and predict where the enemy might go based off of the course of the fight. This just really comes down to game sense more than anything, but like, for example, if I shoot this ash, she's probably going to try and escape, so I can pre-fire my shots into the escape to, to get the kill before she even knows I'm going for it. And next, for the second part of the what you're aiming at section, there is a huge difference between shooting at someone who knows you're there versus shooting at someone who doesn't know you're there. If you only ever shoot at the first person you see, you're pretty much only aiming at people that know that they're being shot at and they're going to avoid your shots. This is incredibly hard to do. Rather, take the patience to always seek out unaware targets or targets that feel safe. You'll find that your aim will magically improve overnight with this simple change in decision. So if you're aiming at somebody that doesn't know that you're aiming at them, uh, you have an opportunity to engage at your own pace. Use this to surprise them, to force abilities, and then make predictions off of their choices. Also, th th like I said, there's a big difference between somebody that feels safe versus somebody that's unaware. If the target feels safe, they're actually probably not moving at all or much at all, and this is pretty much a free shot. Now, if they're just unaware that you're aiming at them, the movement is still predictable. They just might be trying to dodge your teammate's shots, in which case you have the option like shooting at them from the side so that their strafe is easier to land shots on. And if you're aiming at somebody that does know that they're being aimed at, you, you really need to understand the matchup. Sure4's video has a ton of detailed examples about these matchups, so I'll just give some basic ones. So for example, Tracer versus Cassidy. As Tracer, any damage is basically half of your HP, so you, you can't afford to get hit. So it's better to prioritize moving and spamming strafe and trying to blink out of LOS, uh, because if you do get shot, it's half your HP, and, and actually landing your own shots doesn't really matter. Now, compare that to Widow. It's actually often better to just risk not moving and getting the kill easier and uh, making your aim easier, because if you do actually get the kill, then they're not there anymore. So this just comes down to practicing and reevaluating your choices in the time that you do get killed. Uh, your choices regarding your movement versus your aim always end up coming down to the matchup that you're taking. And actually, this concept of aiming at people who know versus who don't know comes from Arge's video on aim, which dramatically improved my aim, so also be sure to check out his two videos as well. So I, I've said a lot here, what are the key takeaways? How can you summarize this and then make choices and improve your gameplay? First off, don't aim under pressure. You need to calm down, slow down, and land the shots that you know you can land. Don't beat yourself up to try and land every single shot. Just land what you know you can land, and over time, your muscle memory will improve and get better. Second, understand how your movement affects your aim and make your movement part of your aim. Make your movement a balance of how much you want to land a shot versus avoid getting shot based on the matchup that you're taking. And third, Understanding the enemy's movement, psychology, and options is far more important than your score in some aim trainer and how accurate you can be. You can actually have pretty bad aim and still land shots in Overwatch if you have the game sense to compensate. And finally, reevaluate your choices often and always ask yourself what options you had that might have been better. 
Remember, it's not about being flashy and landing really cool shots, it's about being practical. Don't take the first shots that you see and always seek out the person that might have been an easier target. And finally, I want to wrap up this video with some just quick settings that will help your aim a lot. Uh, for Widowmaker and Anna, your scoped sensitivity should be 37.89. This will match your unscoped sense one-to-one. -one. I, I can't really explain why it makes sense, just if you try it, you'll find that it's easier to scope shots. And on Ash, it's actually 51.80. Next, go over to accessibility settings and just change your camera shake to reduce. This makes it easier to land certain shots on certain heroes. It's not a huge difference, but just try it. If you're on PC with an NVIDIA GPU, make sure that you enable NVIDIA Reflex plus Boost if you have a 2000 series card or above, and then just do NVIDIA Reflex if you have a 1000 series card or below. This reduces your input lag, it's really good. Under gameplay settings, make sure that you enable high precision mouse input. And finally, also just, I mean, I'm gonna shout myself out. Check out my guide on the best settings to reduce your input lag, which actually really does help your aim and just makes the game feel more responsive, which makes your muscle memory develop a lot quicker. So you should check that out. But anyway, that's it for this video. This is actually the way I aim and hey, I'd like to think I'm pretty good. I, I'm like, I'm by no means a pro, but I have no problem hitting GM on most heroes and most roles. So uh, most of this advice honestly is actually not mine. It's from pros videos or streamers streams or videos and the rest was my own personal experience. So I, I really do hope it helps. And just be sure to check out those videos that I did mention in the description down below. Also right next to those Discord, Twitter and Instagram links. Uh, so anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Have a nice day. My name is Nate, and this was Blizzard Guides.